What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mess with Gustin. Today let's have a look at question 3 uh, which is from November 2023 grade 11. What we're looking at is the chapter on number patterns. So these are the questions that we're going to do. We have 3.1 which is divided into two questions and also 3.2 which is divided into two questions as well. So stick around until the end of this video so that you fully understand what is happening on this question. Okay, let's start with 3.1. All right, uh, 3.1, 3.1, it says here, it says here Three point one says here it's a number pattern that is given by the pattern here. Please, guys, see if you see this, do not panic at all. Let me just mark them. This is T one, this is T two here, and therefore this is T three. And then the first question says explain how uh, each term it is found from the previous term. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. It's which is given by sine x I'm just taking it down here guys so that I can see what's happening divided by cos x then the second term is sine x and therefore the third term is sine x times cos x okay t1 t2 t3 so in order for us to get to get uh, this one here which is signed from 10 which is sine over cos you can see clearly that here in this term number one was multiplied by cos x and therefore we're going to be left with sine which is term number two and then when you multiply term number two if you multiply this by cos x it will give you this term here so therefore simply 3.1.1 you can say uh, the each the the next term if from the previous term it's found by by a uh, multiplying by multi multiplying previous previous term by cos x all right all right and therefore uh, that is 3.1.1 3.1.2 it says here write down it says here write down the fourth term okay so if we were to take this term and then we multiply it by cos which is t sorry this is term number three i wrote t to the term number three is sign cos Therefore, it means to get number four, what should we do? We are supposed to multiply this term number three with cos x, which will therefore give us t number four. It's equal to sine x times cos squared x. Cos times cos will give us cos squared x. All right. And that's how you would deal with a question like this one on number pattern. All right. Let's move along to 3.2. 
All right, 3.2, as you can see, negative 1, 2, 5, and 8 are given. The first question there says, determine an expression for the nth term of this pattern. So they're asking us to find the general formula here. All right, but we need to determine whether this is an arithmetic or quadratic pattern. Therefore, let's come here, 3.2.1. We're given minus 1, uh, 2, and then 5, therefore 8. Therefore, if you were to say 2 minus into minus, it was going to give us 3. And therefore, two, 5 minus 2 is going to give us 3. And therefore, 8 minus 5 is going to give us 3. Right, and that's how you would deal with a question like this one here. So this one is a common different, which indicate to us that this is an arithmetic sequence. Therefore, the general formula or arithmetic sequence is given by Tn is equals to A plus N minus 1 D. All right, if you been here on this channel long enough you would know that uh, we have done number patterns we've done a lesson as well for grade 11 please make sure that you do watch that one here i'm going to solely focus on analyzing this question but i will explain as we move along if you've been subscribed please subscribe share this video with your family your friends and your classmates and those who really need it to improve on their mathematics marks all right so a stands for the first term the first term which in this case is equals to negative 1. So we're going to substitute here negative 1 plus n. We're going to leave it like that because we're looking for the nth term and therefore d is equals to 3. Therefore we're going to go ahead and remove the bracket here. 3 multiplied by n is going to give us 3n. 3 multiplied by negative 1 is going to give us negative 3. Therefore the answer will be 3 and uh, negative 1 minus 3 is going to give us minus 4. So therefore that is what t and all right all right one of my learners has asked me and said they at school they said they must use this formula rather which is equals to d n plus e yes perfectly fine guys you can use uh, this formula but personally i don't like it because you need to substitute back and forth to try to calculate the value of e this one i like it because it's straightforward then you don't have to worry about anything and dealing with back and forth uh, substituting the difference and whatnot but guys always use the method you are comfortable with all right the method you use to practice use that one even in the exam they won't mark you wrong all right so let's move on to 3.2.2 they said write down the number of ten or the number write down right term of the pattern which is equal to 161 all right so basically they are saying a certain term is equal to 161 but we don't know what it is so therefore it means we've got tn we have to look for n1 um, uh, is equal to which what is our tn we covered it previously it gave us 3n minus 4 all right so having that we need to solve take four to the other side therefore six uh, six one six plus four and then three n we are looking for three therefore we are going to divide by three both sides therefore n should give us equal to how much press that into the calculator guys i'm getting 55 let me know what you think let me know what you got on the comment section below if you got a different answer let me know maybe i'm the one who made a mistake then i have to do the correction for that one i am gustin mapala let me see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question four